Hey, what's going on, guys? We're uh, back with the Goblin Shaman episode four. Uh, in the last episode, we made some suggestions for edits on um, on each of the Goblin Shaman. Yeah. And uh, and after the video, we got some feedback from a few of you guys. And uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit today because we got it kind of late. And um, yeah, so uh, I'll let Josh take it away and tell us what he did. Okay. Well, uh, so like mainly, obviously, you guys have already kind of seen these guys. So there aren't mm. like... You know, it's not like a, con- a completely different model or anything. Um, but on here, uh, I swapped out the uh, the headdress. I put it back on the guy. And then I, I think I-, I just decided to put a regular skull on there because I thought it actually like without all the feathers. And I thought it actually looked good. I did a couple little cracks around the eye holes um, of it. It's kind of hard to see because it's moving around like that. Um, and then I removed the eye uh, from the skull as well as um, what's it called? Uh, I put that rope back as well. Um, but this one, we didn't really have a whole lot of extra things. It was just, yeah. uh, you know, now, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I like it a lot. So I really like the headdress on him, but I really like how you took the feathers off the back of the skull and the staff mm-hmm. because I feel like it gives it more of like a buzzard look. Yeah. That I thought that too. You like know? when I put it up there, it made it look a lot scarier. Yeah. When that yeah, happened, I, I like it a lot, actually. Mm-hmm. It is uh, modeled after a vulture. So yeah yeah that's, that was the that was the original plan like i wrote like way back when we were doing our own goblin concept i yeah. had a whole thing and that's where the, the, the vulture came from i like it dude i, okay. I think <laughs> we're definitely gonna go and throw this one on the printer okay um the only thing i can think of that might be an issue is the uh the little tattoo on his back we might have to cut those in a like little deep, deeper deep in it a little so bit. that they, they show but other than that i think it's it's pretty much perfect and, and honestly and i'm gonna say this uh probably for all of them I, we, I sincerely, if you have any, any issues with it or anything you'd like to see or any ideas, please put them in the comments. Cause I'd love to be able to throw some things on there that, that people, uh, like people suggest. Um, and sometimes, you know, even if I'm able to, you know, make things, I still like sometimes, uh, have issues like coming up with uh, specific ideas. So sometimes when I see people giving me suggestions, it, it, it helps a lot. Yeah, so no, for sure. Yeah, I'm just and, and ultimately we want to give you guys things that you want, right? So yeah, um, did help you, us help you, right? Yeah. <laughs> did you did you get any suggestions for this that I didn't see? Um, no, but what, what we did get was literally everyone loves that stuff. Okay, well, that's um, good. I'm glad to so hear that. Now that I'm looking at it though, real quick, the only um, other thing I'm going to say is <laughs> here um, we go. Well, no, again, it's just a printing issue. I think we might want to thicken up the feathers. Because they're thin. Towards the bottom. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, the supports are going to go on those for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, just to make sure that they don't break. Do you think the uh, like the other things are fine, like the ropes and everything? Yeah, yeah, they're pretty thick, so I, I think we'll be fine. Like, I specifically tried to make them, like, extra thick. Yeah, so. yeah, I just think the bottoms of the feathers really, Okay. you know, just, yeah. Um, so, another thing that, that came up that we were talking about afterwards was we loved the way that this staff looked, this battle standard, you know, kind of like he'd be like the main goblin shaman or, mm-hmm. you know, we also like the idea of, uh, you know, maybe he'd be one that's kind of chanting and, and maybe providing some kind of buff uh, to all yeah. the goblin in that area. Um so we were thinking about maybe doing something similar for the other two versions. Uh, so, you know, we had the Ram and the boar. Yeah. Since uh, they were kind of like the ones I made, like I, because we had this guy, I didn't want to make them as like huge and grandiose as this one. Right. We had the idea of doing like a huge, grandiose, cool looking one like this with the other two, as well as doing the like simpler version for this one. Yeah. yeah for this one. Yeah. So the idea was saying, if you, you know, I thought you're probably going to go with one goblin tribe at a time. So, you know, if your goblin tribe wanted the, the you know, the raven or, or the, not the raven, I guess in this one, it's the, what do you say? It's not a buzzard. What do you call it? Vulture. Vulture. Yes. Yeah. So if you yeah. want the, the vulture clan or the boar clan or the ram clan, you're probably only going to go with one. Um, and then again, this guy, I think you're probably only going to want one of them. I mean, it's up to you guys. You can use how many you want, but the other shaman in that clan would probably be more like uh, casters or support. Um, so they wouldn't have that that big standard. Um, so that's kind of how we're coming. That's the, you know, that's the angle we're coming from. So I think yeah. we're going to do the big standard for the other two shaman also for the other two clans. And then, like he said, we're going to make it like a caster version of this one. You know, it's a little bit more simple. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing how those come out, but uh, yes, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next. All one. right. All right. So the boar one here. So here we have, <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. 
Uh, so I replaced the headdress with a skull um, because that was uh, something that actually, we, yeah, let me, let me get into this real quick. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a lot of people, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, get a hold of us on the back end. Like they'll send us kind of private messages or, or a text or something like it from some of the people that we know. And uh, one of them got a hold of us and, and pointed out, and actually, when Josh and I had talked about it, he, this was intentional, but I didn't even notice. Yeah. Was that all the other ones, we, we were using skulls. And if you notice on the boar uh, shaman on the last one, it was actually almost like a mask. Like it uh, it looked like he still had a skin and everything else. Yeah, it did. Um, it, yeah. yeah. So it, it kind of didn't vibe with the other ones. Um, so we wanted to go back and, and, and touch that up. And, you know, just to kind of keep it consistent. So, yeah. So I redid it as yeah. a, as a skull. I had to go and find, which was very difficult, by the way, to find a boar skull reference. Mm -hmm. um, but I did find one eventually that was good. Um, and I used that to create this, uh, this skull, um, as well as uh, the little bag on the side that you were. Uh, yeah, I like it a lot, were, actually. Talking about I noticed before. that, too. Yeah. Um, but OK, so what do you think about the uh, the way the skull looks and the, and the little bag? I, guess? I like them a lot. I still think you can get away with bigger, bigger tusks. tusks. Okay. I mean, I'd yeah. say that's an easy, an yep. easy quick fix. Yeah. I would say at least double the size, you know, okay. take them nice and wide and, and, you know, okay. Um, also on this one, I believe you, because we like the way that the little Mohawk looked. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah. So, so the Mohawk was, I, I think, I think I described this in the last video. Yeah. I did find online that there were some, uh, some, uh, boars that do have like a, like a like a hair thing that goes down the middle i don't know if it's always flat like that um but in some images i found they were flat they could have been cut like in a zoo or something like sure, that i'm not positive sure. but i really like the way it looked as well as uh I, I think they have that with like a pumba in um yeah in the lion king in the lion king um so when i removed the the like the pig head like the one with skin and everything um the uh the mohawk was a separate mesh and it just ended up being just the goblin with a mohawk and I like the way it looked, so yeah, I decided to keep it. Yeah, I decided I'd keep it because yeah. I feel like it gives him more up there as well. It's very aggressive. It, yeah, yeah, it, I, it I makes like him it look too. a little scarier, and it kind of you know it just gives him a little bit more than rather than just the skull. Um, as well, I, I don't know if you can really tell that much because uh, it's moving kind of quick, but I did add like some cracks on yeah. the top of the head as well as right around the eye holes, and you'll see I did a lot of that in the ram skull on the ram. Well, yeah. So, um, but this one, uh, luckily, uh, the way boar skulls are, uh, they do, to a certain extent, kind of face forward. So the eyes, I was able to uh, to fit in there with little, uh, like very little um, yeah. maneuvering, I believe. Um, and then the bag, uh, it is simple, I would say, but I, I think it looks really, really nice. I like it a lot. I think you did a great job. And you kept the aesthetic from the other goblins. Yeah, I tried to do that little stitching. I feel yeah. like it's kind of, yeah. you know, not not really a bad uh, bad thing. It's kind of the hallmark of the goblin. Well, right yeah, there, I mean, right? that's yeah. sort of their, their whole thing. Yeah. They don't really have like super clean everything. No, know? I like it. Okay. All right. Then uh, I guess we'll we'll go on to the, as I, I call it, the Ram Sham. So the one thing before oh, we move I'm on. I'm sorry. Uh, I think I'd commented this to you after the video last time. Did you? Um, I still think the the chest. You might want to wrap it back in a little bit. I oh, feel like, yes. I'm sorry. I feel like he's kind of got some. They almost look like teats. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry about that. I, I completely forgot. That's um, okay. But that should be easy too. Just yeah. kind of. God, I'm sorry, guys. <coughs> still fighting off this sickness a little bit. Good. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to that. Okay. <laughs> All right, so this I is the, that I'm coughing in the, this video. Is the 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 ram uh, ram shaman. So I added a couple new things to the staff, um, just a couple little extra bones. The uh, I don't know what it's called, like the V horn version of the uh, the ram skull on there, um, as well as the skull on his head. I, uh, I I made it more anatomically correct, had it facing down like uh, like I did before, um, but instead of kind of like moving the eye holes, I kind of just ripped it open basically, like cracked it. One is just like a a hole specifically for his eye and the other yeah. one's just a large like crack from the eye hole to where his eye is. Um, I removed the stitching on the back um, and then I added a little, uh, a I'm little, sorry, um, a little feathers and like a little pouch on the side. Cause he didn't actually have anything uh, yeah. before. Um, I also uh, made this, the, the stone larger and I uh, like accentuated all the, um, I don't know what the word is like the, the edges, I guess. So that when you would print it out, uh, yeah, they're a lot nice more, uh, more visible. Um, and the stitches on his back are gone. I might have said that already, but I'm just saying it again. All right. So 
No, I mean, I like it a lot. I think um, th- what you did with the the skull, you know, changing the eyes back to the more anatomically correct position, I, I like it a lot. I think it definitely looks a little more authentic. Um, and, it, and you're right, it does look scarier, I think. Yeah, um, if I can um, get a, here, let me see, like right here. Like, I think if you just kind of look at them head on, mm-hmm. like, I think it looks a lot creepier. Oh, yeah. Like with those yeah, eyes, sure. like the shadows that kind of come in from behind it. Now, we did get another comment. uh Again, on the back end, some reason nobody wants to put anything up on uh, YouTube. <laughs> yeah, but they suggested to maybe put like a sacrificial dagger in his other hand, uh, which I think will end up looking pretty good. Yeah, I like that idea a lot. Um, I would have absolutely done that um, had I uh, had the idea or if I, I knew about that uh, prior. So uh, in the final version of this guy specifically, he will have a dagger. I think I don't think there's any way it's going to look bad. So I can pretty much say with. Absolute certainty that I will do that. <coughs> um, I'm really sorry, guys. We'll try to wrap up this video fast. I'm I'm coughing a lot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like uh, b- because of like what he is, like the way he looks, I think having something like that uh, fits very very well. Like he's got that kind of like very evil, like almost like demonic kind of yeah. style going on. Like he's definitely about to sacrifice somebody. Yeah. Right? So I think uh, having a sacrificial dagger would fit really well. Yeah. So the one thing I will say about the staff. That is exactly the skull I was looking for, mm-hmm. but I was looking for it to be turned towards the the gem. So the way I was thinking of it is because most time when when people are holding a staff, it's it's meant to be kind of presented from one angle. Okay, you know what I mean. Yeah. So if you can imagine the uh, maybe even picking up the ram skull a little higher, but then turning it to where uh, like right underneath the the tip of his. Uh, like the nose, the nose. That's where the the gem kind of starts. Okay, you know what I'm saying. And then it's. I, I think that would look really cool. So it's like one long, like uh, right, like thing up there. Okay. Yeah, and, and then it turns it more into almost like a like a fork or like a pitchfork kind of a look. True. You know what I'm saying? And, and again, idea, I think yeah. it looks really. It'll look very impressive. And I think you can still leave the bones and the feathers exactly where you did, mm-hmm. and the gem definitely looks good. Yeah, I just wanted to add like a little extra uh, <laughs> adornment on the. Uh, yeah on the uh on the staff but uh but yeah so that that is uh that one um we are absolutely gonna do like the grandiose versions of both of these guys too um i'm the most excited for this one because i i i really think i can kind of go like pretty hard with it and make it very very uh very yeah. interesting um do you think the cracks on the skull look okay yeah i think they look really good actually okay. That's exactly what I was talking about. Like that more weathered, old, mm-hmm. you know. That's what I was trying to go for to make it look less, uh, less perfect. Yeah, like the one comment we got. I would also that. say I, I like how the stitching was removed. I think it really makes the uh, the designs on his back pop. Okay, but I, again, I think you could cut those in a little deeper, a little maybe deeper. widen them for when we print it. And typically, when uh, skin is kind of cauterized, yeah, um, it gets like this bubbly kind of a look to it on the outsides. Um, it's, I wouldn't maybe see if you can play around with that. I def, I believe I do actually have like a, a brush design to do that kind of thing. Yeah. The only thing I'm worried about is I'm not sure that it'll show in the, uh, in the print. I mean, I could try to make it like extra large and see what happens. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, we'll, we'll, we will, we will see. <laughs> yeah. We'll see how that, how that works. And the other thing about, um, <clears throat> with carterized skin, I, I think it actually raises. Yeah. A little bit rather than cuts in. So uh, I, to me, I can't really tell, but it looks like these are cut in. Mm. Well, part of the reason for that is because like when it does come to something that small, um, I find that if it's cut in rather than raised, it shows a lot better, which is why. OK, which is why with the uh, like the the guy with like the Nazca lines on his back, they're also cut um, in. That's why I kind of drew it on the outside. Like I can raise that inner part, but I think the outside still needs to be cut in or else it won't. Gotcha. It, it won't pop. You know what I mean? Otherwise, it'll just kind of end up looking like this, like vague shave kind of sitting on his back. Gotcha. So, I mean, I can definitely raise like around those things, but I just have to leave them there so that they yeah, help it like show where it is, you know, if that makes sense. Yeah, it definitely does. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think those are my only notes for these three. Okay. Um, but like I said, let's, let's go and talk about the, the, the big stabs. Yes. I definitely um, like to if we can. So let, let's go back to the uh, the vulture stuff. All right. So every one of you guys that I heard from loved this stuff, and I, and I do too. I Which think I'm it's happy perfect. about. So thank you. So one of the things is uh, 
you know, we really like the idea of all these little things hanging, you know, like in this one, we've got the crystal. Can, can we uh, stop this? Spin? Stop it again. Sure. Yeah, it's kind of nice on there. Oh. Okay, so, you know, we got the bird skulls, the feathers, a nice little like string of bones that would be almost like uh, like chimes or something that would like, you know, rattle together a little bit as he walks mm -hmm. the gem. So we want to continue something like that on the other two, but maybe not the exact same four things. Yeah. So if you guys have any suggestions that about things that might hang from the other two staffs, you know, keep in mind they are uh, a boar and a ram. We'd appreciate that. Yeah. Because like with the bird, it was a little easier just because like the one main thing was feathers and the wings. Like that's mm -hmm. a very clear thing. But like I can't just like put like a boar with wings. staff. Yeah. You know, so it doesn't really fit. Um, one thing I was thinking for the ram is I could do those like curved horns or just like horns in general, just like a bunch of different types of horns, just sort of like layered on top of each other, um, hanging down or all over the top of it. Um and we could try to maybe do some like instead of wings, like two like very like huge like grand horns almost. That's that 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 I feel like could work. Yeah. Um, I'm not positive about the pig. I don't know what to do uh for that. Yeah, it's a little tough. Yeah. Have you, have you had any thoughts? Um I mean I, I have been thinking about it. Uh apart from like a pelt or the hard thing about the like the the main thing about like a bird is the fact that it has feathers and wings and stuff like that. The main thing about a ram is its horns. The main thing about a, a boar would be its tusks, but the tusks generally aren't so huge that it could really, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like rams occasionally have been shown to have very large. Yeah. And I think there are actually breeds of ram that have like enormous horns. Um, So I could definitely play off of that. But for boars, you know, it's a little, it's a little harder unless I just want to do like a fur pelt kind of deal. I have like a whole like boar pelt with like the legs and everything hanging off of it. That actually might be kind of cool. Like that's that's the only other thing. I, so that would I almost thinking. be more of like a flag. Yeah. Or, yeah. But I feel like I'd have to keep like the, the bones for the legs and everything in there. So it would look very possibly disturbing, but yeah, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see how it comes out. Um, but that's the only thing I could think of for that. And then apart from that, I mean, you know, the one that I have here, um, he does have like, like a pig foot. Like I could add some of those in there. Yeah. Um the ball's not really for anything specific. It was just in there. Um I could put, you know, boar skull at the top of it as well, like like the other one. Sure. Um I don't know. And, and that's part of the reason why I like reading uh comments and stuff, because yeah, you know, when you get a lot of other people looking at something, they come up with a lot of ideas that you would have never even thought of yourself. And, you know, you can definitely uh get some good ideas. But not only that, but you know, like your ideas might spur further ideas further ideas yeah and then you know it'd be interesting that you can see something that you thought of and i'll, I'll try yeah. to make it you know like something like that so well i guess i mean that's kind of all i have for this one we'll keep this one kind of short today um so we'll just again just real quick go over the uh the main thing about this like i said we we want to make the, the the grand staff i guess if we call it that for the for the boar and the ram also um, but as far as these guys go, I think they're they're pretty well done. Yeah, they're pretty like simple and uh and then we want to make a version like this of the of the vulture. Yes. Yeah, which that that shouldn't be too difficult because it'll be yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh but so I think in the next video, um we'll go ahead and I think these guys are all ready for print, you know, with a couple edits. Yeah. Uh which we'll do on the back end here. Sure. Uh and then uh in the next video, we'll look at those prints, and then we'll also hopefully get an idea of the other two grand staffs and the uh, the you know we call it like the caster version of the uh, of the vulture. Sure. All right, cool. Uh, I'll be on. My voice is gone. Did you want to take this one? The yeah, sure. <clears throat> um, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, we appreciate it a lot. We always do. Um, if you could uh, do us a favor and subscribe if you haven't yet, uh, like the video, all that kind of stuff. Um, follow us on social media, Discord, Twitter, you know, all those kinds of things. Uh, and we will see you in the next video. Have a good one, guys. See you.